What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Miles World and what we're going to be doing today is something that I didn't think that I would do and that's going to be replacing Eric Berry who was my tier, I don't know what it was, like a tier 4 power up, the dude is garbage and um, for everybody that's leaving comments and suggestions, I really really appreciate it but I don't care um, because what happens is when I'm playing the game I have a different outcome than you do and the reason that you're watching the videos that I make is because you want to live through my experience of what I'm doing. Now whether you take it for the comedic purposes and you like it and you laugh, which is what it's intended to do because the game the game is making me go crazy. So that's what it's about. I, I, I know what is going to be, you know, work for me and the players that stay and, you know, what I think will work for you. And a lot of you guys are coming around to understanding what I'm saying because you're joining me in my Twitch streams, which I do uh, on a daily basis, um, you know, between 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time weekly. Um, I usually, I'm on Twitch at Gmiles World, so yo, feel free. For all you guys that have all these suggestions that you just definitely want me to, oh, yeah, try this, try that, come in and see how these players act and see what they do. And then we can go from there because it's it's rather hilarious that everybody has suggestions, but in, in on the bigger stage and the, the whole bigger, on the surface of Madden itself, there's a lot of issues that are going on within the game. For instance, my Barry, let's take a look at this guy Barry real quick. This dude, Barry, is garbage. I, I think I said that already. Like the video if I said it earlier. I don't know if I did. If I didn't say it, unlike it, then like it again. But look, let me just tell you this right here, right? Why am I going to newest? Oh, I did pull that. Oh, wait a minute. I pulled that guy? I'm about to sell this guy. I pulled this guy out of my, my year. What is he going for? Oh, he ain't really doing nothing. What, what, what? Yo, bro, I got my monthly weekend league rewards, and I pulled that Larry Allen right there, and I also pulled this bum. Um, we can put him up for 18K. I don't think anybody's going to buy. Hold on. What's his speed looking like, though? Seven, yeah, yeah, he's garbage. Um, yeah, so pretty much what's going on is this. I want you guys to understand that, you know, pretty much this is the way that I operate my team. Don't worry about me losing coins and all that stuff like that. I have very, very low tolerance for foolishness. I can't deal with it for long periods of time. And I'm just not interested in other people trying to make suggestions about a game where we all know there's a lot of problems with it. You know, you can make up excuses about why things are going on. Oh, yeah, you didn't do this. Oh, you didn't brush your teeth on the 5, you know, you didn't brush your teeth at 12 p.m. You can make up what kind of scenarios you want. I don't I don't really care about all that. What I'm concerned with is guys going out there and making plays for me. If you can't make plays for me, that you're on the bread lines, bro. You're done. I don't care about you. I don't care about your family. Look, my team understands that. You know, you guys watching the video, you don't understand. I have a relationship with my team. Like right now, I'm going to take Barry into the office and I'm going to tell him his wife is mine. That's how I let him know that he's no longer starting and he's done. He has the pick six chem. This guy's a, yo, he's so garbage. And I don't know if it's because his zone coverage is under the threshold. You know, like 91 is that major threshold. Ooh, you got a 91 zone. Now you could jump routes. That's so dumb. Like he has a 91 play rec. Like, he should be able to see what's going on, but everybody feeds into it. Oh, the meta, 91 zone. Okay, I'm going to do that. You guys got to stop being stupid and understand that it shouldn't play like that. Like, reg everybody shouldn't play the same based on one attribute. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Madden never used to be like that. I don't, you, like, I don't want to go into that. I'm, I'm going to let you guys keep doing what you're doing. But all of a sudden, right, Barry has been, he's just been a total, total bum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to unlock one of the new gauntlet players. And I know he has 84 speed. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, what are you doing? Barry's the GOAT. He's not, though. He used to be. He's a bum right now, though. Where is it? Did I, did I miss it already? What, bro, what, what the? Where's, what? Okay, hold up. I must, I must have missed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say I must have missed it, did it. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to say missed. All right, so here we go. Barry Church. The dude is garbage, okay? But he's better. Look, he's better than nothing right now, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we going to do? I, I can't keep... Barry just stands there and gets dotted. He doesn't move. He's like, yo, what's up? I'm right here. Throw it through my chest. Let's take a look. I know he has an 84 speed, um, but he has a 91 zone coverage. And now, look, he has one less play wreck, okay? He has a 90 hit power. Let's compare him now. Let's see exactly what's going on. All right, the speed, obviously, the acceleration, obviously, play rec plus one. So tackling is better. Man coverage is better. His zone coverage is better. Man coverage just doesn't even make sense in this game. I'm never going to worry about that. And his hit power is a little bit better. Uh, better. So you might say, why would you replace this guy, um, you know, with Barry Church? Why would you do that? And the simple answer to that question is, I don't care about, I don't care about Barry anymore. The guy sucks. He comes out, has no self-respect, gets dotted on a regular basis, bro. Like, gets straight, like... I'm talking about dot through his face 
right through his face on a regular basis. And that's what I'm saying. I don't care that you guys are telling me, oh, bro, yo, do this, do that. Listen, I don't care about all that. This dude, Eric Berry, bro, he swims with the fishes. Shout out to my Italians. This guy is gone, bro. Barry Church, let's go. Step up in there. We're going to take him to church. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to have uh, Earl, um, Barry's going to still be in the lineup. Okay, he's just going to be a backup. All right? We're gonna, hold on. You know what? Let me let me check out Barry's. What is Barry's press? Does Barry got good press? Because sometimes... No, but I don't need him as a corner anymore because I got new corners. What man coverage is an 82. His zone coverage is a 90. What, where, where, is, where is his press? An 80? Yeah, he's garbage. This dude right here is trash. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put... He has pick six chem, but he never picks the ball for me. Uh, he just stands there like a complete moron. So what we're going to do now... I'm a, Let me just explain what's been going on, right? I got rid of Night Train Lane and got two really, really good corners. Josh Norman and, and Casey Hayward. Let me tell you something. Earlier today, Casey Hayward played an out route in a blue, in a deep blue, by himself. I didn't make any adjustments. He just played it, did what he had to do, pick. Did he pick it? No, he didn't pick it. He batted it down, but he was all over it. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to get the pick, too. Like, EA is not trying to show me love like that, but he played it in a blue route. Now, let's look at Casey Hayward, right? Casey Hayward is the prototypical above, you know, the one plus above the medal with 92 zone. Josh Norman has a 93 zone cover. He's been playing like a stud also. Um, but but the both these guys play very, very well. Very, very similar. The only thing difference between them is an inch. 5'11 and 6 foot. They, like, but they play well. And what I mean by that is they go out there and they make an attempt to not have the ball thrown through their bodies. They, you know, they they want to come to practice. When I see them like for instance, the other day I was sitting down with um, who I think I think yeah Eric Berry. Before I just demoted him, I was sitting down with his girlfriend, and she was in the nude, and uh, we were in the office, and you know we were talking, and I was explaining to him like, look, you're gonna be demoted, stuff like that. You know he he's upset about it. I'm not gonna reduce his pay. I'm just not gonna pay him at all. You see what I'm saying? Like bro, look, I don't care about his problems. But what I'm saying is I'm upfront about the way I treat my players on my team. You understand what I'm saying? So he understood as a man he's not performing. Why should I keep giving him the same perks if he's not performing? He's not living up to his contract. Now, I'm going to keep him there, like I said, because I don't know whatever I might have to switch in. I might have to put him in for a play or two, stuff like that. We do have Deion Sanders that I could always put at the safety position if Barry Church starts stinking it up. But the reason that I'm going with Barry Church is because I want to test out a 91 zone strong safety. Because obviously we got Sean Taylor. What is his zone? Nike 93 or something like that? What is his zone coverage? Yeah. So now everybody is above the meta. In my secondary, there's nobody that's below the meta. Um, so we should be able to get some things done with that. The next thing that I might try to do, I got to see what's going on with Derek Brooks. Because Derek Brooks, the upgrade version of him, I don't know, like, what is he really doing right now? Derek Brooks, where is he? He's, he's a bum, but I want to see what I can do with this guy. Let me see, what's going on? He's 91, what are they doing? 299. Okay, so we're done with that. We're not going to do that now. Because this is, it, it, like, it doesn't make any sense to be doing this. And we already know, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. That doesn't make any sense. If we do pull one of those, maybe we'll do it, but I'm not going to spend that kind of coin for, um, you know, a linebacker that's not going to react to a ball being thrown through his eyeballs. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not going to do that. So, you know, we're going to go with the meta right now, and we're going to see exactly what these guys can do for us. Now, as far as the offensive side of the ball, and yeah, I have some footage of Tom Brady taking the field, uh, some gameplay that I will be releasing soon uh, to let you guys, you know, have an idea of what's going on with everything. But I just want to make you guys aware, um, Tom Brady is the GOAT. And like I told you guys, when I was getting rid of Mike Vick, you guys were like, yo, what's going on? Then I had a couple guys saying they understand, you know, um, you know, uh, this dude has been throwing the ball crazy since the update or whatever. All that stuff is fine, right? But this is what I want you guys and girls to understand. He is a bum, okay? It's it's Mike Vick, after the update, like he, I don't know what he's doing, bro. The only thing about him is he's fast. He's the 92 speed. Once he breaks out into the open field, it's, it's listen, you're having a good day. Like, hold on, you know what, you know what I want to do? I should get that Adrian Peterson gauntlet guy, right? Yo, what's his stats looking like? I don't know. I, Tariq Cohen is really, really garbage. I, I, yo, the, yo my, I just realized that my backup running backs, they really suck. Um, Tariq Cohen is terrible. Tevin Coleman sucks. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I don't know what the gauntlet, I don't really know his stats. I could look it up on Mudhead right now while I'm actually doing the video, but like, I really, I don't even want to know what it is. Um, but he, he, he has the pound of rock chemistry. And, um, I think that he, where's his hand at? Is he holding something or is his arm chopped off? That looks weird, that picture. I never noticed it like that. You see like that black thing? It looks like he has a nub. Is he making a fist? 
What 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 is this? Who who made this drawing? D don't worry about that. Don't even worry about it. Look look. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe the flashback one. Let's take a look at the flashback one because what I'm starting to do now, because I have Tom Brady, I got to be able to run the ball more effectively with maximum effectiveness. And um, I I don't know what's up with um, Ladanian Tomlinson, but I think they nerfed a lot of the things about him, and he he's a bum. Um, is what I'm trying to say. I, I, he, he really disgusts me. As a man, he should be ashamed of himself. Okay, so he's at like 76,000 right now. 88 speed, 91 trucking. Okay, so if, should we be able to truck with this guy? Like, See, I don't know if I want to start trucking or what I'm doing, but I've seen dudes use him and really go wild, and I'm not sure if I should take that chance as well because I know that for me, he's going to play like garbage. And I accept that as a person and a human being in the National Football League of Associations of Miraculi. And that's not English or Italian or German or anything like that. That's actually a language that I'm working on for myself uh, that I'm going to put out soon. So don't try to look it up. But I don't know if I want to put him. I think that he would probably be a better backup than the backups I currently have. Like, you guys told me, yo, yo, that dude Tariq Cohen, he's glitchy. No, he's not. He's just a terrible running back. That, that's all he is. His elusive is 86. His truck is a 58. Juke move, 88. So he's like right there. He, he doesn't... What's his spin move, though? Do we got a spin move on this guy? What, what's his spin move looking like? D these dudes are garbage, man. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you got 83 and this guy's... See, that's what I'm saying. He's at... Agent... Oh, my God. Okay, AP. Should we... A, I don't really like AP no more because of the death stare that he did to my man, Sean Payton. But um, I think we might have to put him in the lineup as a backup. You know what I'm saying? And then LT, should we bench LT? I, I don't really know. But I think we might as well do that too. I, I think, yeah, we're, we're going to buy him. And I'm going to sell Cohen. I'm going to sell Cohen now. And then uh, we'll put him in the line. I think, I think to start punishing LT, I'm going to bring him into the office. I'm going to talk to him. Again, I'm going to have his girlfriend or significant other in the nude as I speak to them. I'd I like to let them know that what I'm doing, I want them to understand that I don't really care about their problems. That's pretty much what I'm doing as a head coach. I'm letting them know right now, like, look, you screw me over, this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to put Adrian Peterson in, um, and at least we'll have a guy with maximum amounts of truck so that if we need to get a yard, we won't get it. You know, we definitely won't get it. You know what I'm saying? He has pound the rock, right? So pound the rock does what? Let's look at the chemistry real quick. Pound the rock. What does it do? What, what, what does it go? What? what? Oh, they, they, they let you. Oh, you got to do it separate now. Oh, you got plus one stiff arm, plus one run block. Okay. All right, so that's where we are right now. Plus one step. Okay, so um, AP, starting him. No, nah, I don't want to. Should we bench LaDainian Tomlinson, though? And just start letting Adrian Peterson go out right and just, see, you know what I'm saying, see what happens with him? I don't know. I'm, I, might, I might end up doing that. To be honest, I might end up doing that. But I don't want to do it yet. But I might end up doing that because LaDainian Tomlinson is a terrible running back. He, he's really, really bad. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sell Tariq Cohen. Um, because he, he has no business being on the team to begin with. And for all you guys that told me he was glitchy, I, I think you guys just want to say that. You guys just want to say glitchy. It's sort of like what people said Nano back in the day. And we all, hold up, why isn't Jason Taylor sold yet? That dude, yeah, nobody wants him. I, yeah, that, yeah, touche. Dude's garbage. Uh, Tariq Cohen, what you going for, bro? What you going for right now? Oh, a whopping 20K? Somebody bid on you at 14, though. All right, so like 15. Did we get rid of him for like 15K? We'll do that. You know, he's a good running back, 91 speed. I wouldn't recommend him. Um, but yeah, go ahead and grab him if you see him after the video. Uh, I really appreciate it. Dude is garbage. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. This was all about Barry Church. I didn't want to do it. I had to do it. Um, I had no choice. Dudes out here, they, 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 these guys are really playing around with me. They think that they could come out and do whatever they want. Um, they come to practice late. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? I had him at 19,000? Is that what I had him at? What did I have him at? 18,250? All right, so nobody's going to buy him then. I, I, he's probably not going to get sold. I don't really care, guys, but that's where we are right now. We're going to be coming out with Barry Church. I got some gameplay with the GOAT Tom Brady. We'll see what happens with that, but I just want to say thank you for everybody that's been watching and enjoying the videos. Continue to do so as we grow. See you guys and girls next time. It's always and forever. One love.